Hello and welcome back. Right, now then, I've had a thought. Now, I've always used... Ah, we have flickering trees. Now then, I've been scouring the internet to try to fix this. Now, I know it's not that's not mega bad, but I was told... Well, people had different opinions. One was update your um, NVIDIA driver. Well, I've got to be honest. My NVIDIA driver is automatically updated. Oh, actually, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. We need to... God, no, I'm not. I'm not going the wrong way at all. Yeah, I need to go back to the main shop. I'm thinking I've got two pro two issues. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out the game. It's apparently, somebody said, the fix is if you remove um, shadows from trees, uh, you know, like um, shadows, foliage shadows, that actually fix a flicker in trees. So I'm going to try that on camera now to see if that is. Obviously, that would prove it. It it is a fix. A lots there are lots of forum people who have mentioned on the forums at Giants this problem. Didn't see a reply from Giants, but I did see lots of people trying to help themselves and saying what had fixed it for them. Some people said it was a driver update. Well, mine is the latest driver, so that's definitely not a problem. And this does not just affect um, this particular graphics card, it affects all two, one ATI and two N different NVIDIAs, both fully updated, so it's nothing to do with an update. Which then leaves some other people saying it's the shadows. Now obviously it's a fix for the game, we all are probably completely aware of that. So I'm going to try that, but second thing is... I said that obviously I was having issues with the trailer, which is true. Now I've had this trailer before, but I've always had a weight on, so I'm going to just try something. And that is, we bought a weight, I'm sure we did, but we're going to go to the shop if we didn't, and we're going to buy a weight. Also, if there's anything we need, I'm going to sort of try and think, if there's anything we need while we're over this end, let's buy it. Right, let's send, yeah, let's send him back home as well, the Vulture. Let's put it on the road. I don't know how the pathfinding is. In fact, I should have come for the Vulture. It would have been more sensible, really. But, you know, little old me never does things the easy way. I don't know. Right. Let's go and grab that weight. I think that might fix it. Well, I've had this exact setup before, and I can't believe it's a map-related problem. I think it is something... What well, could be... Could be the, no, it can't because it's all tractors. Yeah, they were all all badly affected by it. So I'm going to go with the weight. Could be how low the. I do definitely think it is down to the dolly. Definitely, it looked like it was, yeah, not quite long enough. Like it was pulling on something, which was causing issues. So if that is the case, if the weight goes as an intermediate, then that would actually fix the problem. So we shall see. I think. I reckon that'll fix things. I'm hoping. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to try to fix this issue because I say I've had that trailer before. I've got it on my Hobo's Hollow, but I never clicked until I went back on the map and actually did a, a wood episode yesterday and thought, ah, hang on a minute, I have used it to use that setup, but I've always had the self-made weight as an intermediate always been on that weight so I thought well, let's try that Ooh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up put the weight on I'm going to save the game come out and then we shall see if that fixes this issue Yes, I did. I'm going to put the self-made weight on the front just to transport it. And we'll transport. What shall we transport? What are we going to need? Ah, cultivator. It's probably going to be the first thing. I can make fields with it, but we'll still need to plow. So at some point, if we can, we will either get a plow on special. But for now, we'll take the hit. Right, so then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come straight back in. So, I shall see you guys and girls shortly. 
Right, we're back. Right, let's grab. So I got no, it hasn't. It's not got a connector at the back. Right, let's take this back. There's more equipment getting across. Here we shall. Now I'm not sure to buy a trailer on this. I really, I'm not. So I think. I think what I would buy, if anything, now that we have actually got this, the big bag winch on this particular let's play. Now I tested a uh, bale trailer yesterday that had got um, ramps on the back it, and it was an abysmal fail, it really was. Whether that's through game mechanics, whether it's very hard to do it or whether it was design of the ramps or whatever. And it was then that I said, well actually the big bag winch, would you could literally lift vehicles and stick them on with a heavy enough vehicle, say like this instead of the ramps because we all know it's a it is a game issue it truly is it's probably it's almost very difficult to do what the modder was trying to do so I'm not going to go at the mod itself just saying that it was impossible to use that particular thing the realism you were aiming for by using the ramps was totally spoiled by the fact that you couldn't you couldn't reverse things on where you could grab them with the three point hitch to take things to the field with it being a bail trailer, I was going to take half of my equipment on the trailer to the contract. I mean, obviously you've still got to pick it up afterwards, but that's not the point. At least you can go to the contract in one go. But I say it was totally ruined by the fact that it wouldn't do that. So yeah, although the realism isn't there with using something like the big bag, which most people are aware that it is caused. I mean, the other thing is you could have loading ramps. But you'd have to have them all over the maps. I suppose it's more realistic, but yeah, it's a cost. If you were going to do that, I think I'm I'm a terror for wanting realism in so much as that everything comes out of my purse in the Let's Play. If you were going to try to counter game mechanics with such things, I think I would say, yeah, for once, let's put the money back in. Because that was, would seem fair. If we're trying to play realistically, but also acknowledging the fact that the game is not it's not at the stage it's realistic I mean Giants have made great leaps from FS19 to FS22 apart from the issues like oh flickering has gone hang on a minute they're still casting shadows but the flickering is definitely gone so there you have it I will that's not conclusive proof but I'm going to leave this off so the jury's out, but it's definitely fixed it. This was definitely flickering before. And that's, the one thing I will say, though, is even before, when the trees get to water, and they do do that a slight orange, and they do flicker, then it's not there always. So just because it's not there now doesn't mean it won't appear. So, yeah, we shall see how things develop. But at the minute, I've got to say that that is actually... Right, moment of truth. Let's... Drum roll, please. Ah, now they say, was it confused with this? So that's the front loader and that's the weight. Oh, wow, for what's actually got it right. Now, this would be the obvious choice. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the circle of the inner, the first set of trees to actually make this, well, subject. Obviously, hopefully, this is going to work. Otherwise, I am going to go for the Johnson Brothers trailer. I'm hoping this works out because this is much more in keeping with the map. Oh, we need the dolly. Now that is obviously field grass, that patch there, whereas this is not. So that's what the square is. Right. Anyway, let's hope this fixes that first problem. That would be useful. There you have it. If you want to use this dolly, have an intermediate, a, a weight or something to do it, because it's not quite long enough and causes issues if you haven't. But that is, yeah, performing spot on now. It really is. So excellent. Right, so then. We need to cut some trees now. Right, so I'm going to go to town that smoke because we're going to, going to cut an entire circle all the way to open this up a little bit into 
our first field I'm not I'm gonna do this in stages because it really is it's it's a big area so we're not gonna try to like build Rome in one day but we are gonna like literally try to widen the field up so I'm gonna say my words I'm gonna see you guys and girls on the other side Just gonna break out of the uh, time lapse because yeah, I'm gonna do this. I want to do this right. I want to find out how the measure mod works, and this is gonna be useful not just to me as well. Oh, let's get rid of that a little bit. Of, yeah. Now, let's look at my control. Let's no, that's going out of the game. That's not gonna be useful. Let's go into settings and let's just find. Let's try and get this sorted. I'll cut this out if it doesn't work. But yeah, keep up controls. R pretty rubbish. Okay, well, we're gonna have to guess then. I'm trying to think, is there a way? I suppose there is. We... I'm gonna have to do this scientifically. We walk to. So if we look at that now, that is 7.5 metres. Ah, okay then. In that case, that really will work. Now we'll do Mr. Silly P's trick of using the measuring stick. Now we have a 7.5 metre. We want to be slightly less because there was, oh, I don't know, between 7 and 8 is what most people recommend as the ideal length. So, if that is the case... Let's use our measuring stick. Let's put this next to it and we can methodically do this. He says as he's well out. That's not that's not far out actually. Never gonna be perfect, perfect, so how can that be blue? Right. Let's grab Let's grab actually both while we're doing this as well. This will be useful. I get only get three or four of these because they are big logs. I've had the same with when I did this on the Rizu Forest Plus, which I had a bigger weight. I had the massive, massive mass one. So yeah, I think four. We'll try four, and then we'll go one up each time just to make sure. Till we. Yeah, we are 7.6 meters, so 
Let's just try and see if we can do one complete log, I suppose. That would be perfect. Right, so... yeah, It's weird. I've, obviously, I know a lot of people, when they're doing the uh, logs, actually often chop the spindly bit off. I can understand the end bit, but I always always sold them, they always do get you a little bit of money and I don't find they ever really waste much personally, I've never really found them a nuisance when I'm uh... now then, if you chop the logs whilst you've got these cuts, if I basically grab that first then it actually makes the um... oh, seriously it's not even on it won't let you chop it. If there's other things interfering, yeah, it won't. I'll show you what I mean. If I lift this out of the way, the objects aren't interacting, they sort of crash each other. So that's about there, I should say. Now it should cut. Yeah. Right. I'm going to take it all, though. I'm not going to be wasteful. Gotta be careful, if they get too big, it won't be able to get them in the no, they've gotta try and keep the weight central. It's getting a bit skewiffed. Smashing do love this mod, absolutely amazing. Right. Then let's try and get these as square as possible. These stack better than the gangly logs on my Hobo's Hollow. I'm doing some. Now let's just see if we can get away with that. Seems to be fairly. Yeah. Yeah, it's not struggling. I always find if you're trying to be balanced, it is definitely better in this game than trying to. We've all done it where you just try to put a little bit too much in. That's better. Brilliant. Okay. That's right, I'm going to go back into time lapse mode, so I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and girls on the other side.
Right, coming out of time lapse mode again. I'm going to do what I said, which is I'm going to stick in an easy shed at the edge of our land. I need to try and go on the map to find the right place. I'm going to put the um, toolbox. I think the mass is underpowered and it is the most powerful tractor we've got, so it makes sense to upgrade this to. Let's have a look, are we in the map in the middle? No, a bit further. I want to put this in the shed at the bottom of the bank, like I said, as close to the road as possible. So we're not wasting any eventual field space. And I will say it's about here. Let's have a look. In fact, no, let's have a look at the map first, make sure we are. No, still a little bit further. I want to get this on the map correctly. Yeah, that's roughly it. Right, sheds. I'm going to put one easy shed. I do like one of the normal, the yeah, other smaller ones. Need to zoom out. No, out, not in. And zip it around. I really think I need to chop that tree down. A couple of little trees, I think, that needs moving. Unless we go back there, where I am. Where's the road? Mm, I think what we need to do actually is, yeah, cut some to the road so there's a proper way in as well as, yeah, so we will do that. Let's try and cut it square. Mm, these are going to be weird, I know they are. These are going to be the horrible trees, aren't they? Let's cut all the trees we need to first. And then, yeah, the road is there. So we ought to have the attachment, that is perfect for pulling these out. Yeah, manage for now without. Let's chop these side limbs off.
what I should have said, actually, sorry to go quiet then, yeah, um, was the Massey's got the capability of being the, if I remember rightly, actually, the 190 is more powerful than this, this is a 175 at the minute, but it has the capability of a 225, I think we're going to have to do that leap sooner rather than later, if I'm honest, this, yeah, this load of logs, you can see it's just not got the power, the 190 wouldn't have any more of the Vulture, wouldn't have the power to do this either, it's just too heavy for it. Had this same thing um, on the Hobo's Hollow actually with an overfilled. The 175 New Holland couldn't cope with it, put the case 249 horsepower and it was fine, didn't even bat an eyelid. So it is a horsepower thing, it causes the slip in so right, let's just shift those logs out. Where are they? Over there. Right, I'm just going to move them out for now to make a path to move to put the shed in. We'll also clear some of the uh, debris as well. got it it's just really strange hidden branches that go under the floor, they are such a pain. Hobo's hollow, also some of them are invisible, you lose branches and things leak, go under the floor and all sorts, it's horrible. And then the bushes get in the way. <laughs> oh, let's get rid of the bushes on the floor first, let's do a bit of landscaping. Thankfully I've got that to uh, Mod still in at the minute. Let's have a look. Let's do forest ground. free at the minute. I am going to move it so that it's not on anymore. Because I don't like it free free but I don't really think that's oh, to do that. Let's try and shift that. Oh, still a bit more. There it is. Let's get rid of this. Alright, smash it. It's not everything. Let's chop that top of the bread up there. Okay, any more for any more. Definitely think that needs chopping down somewhat. It seems a tad large. Seems very good wood though. Yeah, and again I would say. another one of those. Ah. Yeah, oh, these are horrible trees. Chopped one of these in Rizu Forest. Takes an age. Right. Oh well, it needs to do it.
that's typical. <laughs> I don't know what that is about. Cleared the space, and the very space I've cleared, it doesn't like it. Oh, do you know? Can be maybe painting or something similar like that. It might actually re register next time. I'm going to try again. Not next time we load the session. What I'm going to do though for now is stick the. Ooh, there could be a bit of wood as well. It just only takes one tiny bit. Well, we've chopped another pretty much a load of wood as well, so it's not bad. Right, and we will get. Yeah, I'm going to take the. Ah, there's some wood. So it could be that as well. Okay, yeah, let's chop that. Let's so a quick wonder, just see if we can see any bits of wood in the area where the easy shed is, because that's all it's going to take. Ah, uh, you see there is. Ah. Let's chop these little bits of wood up. I wasn't that close to this, but it could be that. Let's see if there's any more. Ah. -ha. Weird what the game classes as an object, it only takes that bit of wood and that is an object. Let's see. It's not everything. Aha, no, a bit of wood. Alright, let's have a look. Let's just gonna have to do a better job, I think, of D. Let's zoom in a little as well. I'm a bit too far out. Let's get rid of some of these patches. Let's be thorough. It's a bit faffy, but okay, let's go out a little now and let's make it a little bigger. And we'll see if we can see any bits of wood. When we have defoliaged everything, I don't see anything. It looks fairly good to me now. Right, let's try again. Right, easy shed. Can do it like that. That's not bad actually, because it's that's going to be the way in now. We've got the. We can do that level. It's about as good as it gets. It's not bad. It's not as level the ground as I thought it was actually. Okay. Tools. I'm going to have a toolbox mod as close to the entrance as possible on the pedestal and the steel on the other side. We've done this before, it doesn't take any room, more room than the post itself. So, smashing. Okay, now then, let's get this. Upgraded. I know it's going to take money we really can't afford, but yeah, I don't think we can afford, we, don't, we cannot do this, if I'm honest, without upgrading the tractor. Oh wow. Right, let's customise. Two hundred and eighty is the most. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Okay. I don't really think we can truthfully do any more than that though. It's without that I don't think it's gonna work. Let's just get that it's a bit smooth in needs doing there. Let's just finish this off. This is our basically in essence our farmyard at the minute, so let's make it pretty. Right, we need to 
soften first. Let's also do a bit of painted. Let's make it grass and let's make it larger. Bit of a demarcation line. Not sure if that's good or bad. Ah, yeah, forget. When you put the toolbox on that down, it doesn't like it. Alright, stick. Oh, that's as close as we can get. I think we made a right mess of that, actually. Yeah, as soon as you get too close to the toolbox, it does that weird thing. Let's try and get rid of that grass. Right, in essence, then, that is our yard at present. Right, now then, let's see if this 280 horsepower should. Now, why have I opened the window? There it is. Right, let's take this to the sawmill and see if we can get any money back. At least, of course, obviously the good thing is taking these logs, we are going to get cash back. I am going to. This is going to be the end of the session. It has been quite a long one. Productive though. Would have liked next session. We should work on making the field itself. Do the field still. Definitely better though, he says as he spins around. Wow. I thought it was over to unless. Is it that I'm leaning a little bit into the ground? So this invisible bits am I dragging? It shouldn't be that you can see, but it doesn't mean to say that it's not. How much weight have we got? No. It's not that terrible, really. It's seen far worse. Right, that's... Gordon Bennett, that's ridiculous. Now I did have difficulty with this modded Massey Ferguson in on my early grat actually. It caused me quite a lot of grief. With the tractor. I know this works perfectly over the case, but we have the Massey, that is what we've got, so we're gonna have to make this work. And the Vulture was just as bad, so Mind you, we didn't try the Vulture with the weight. Let's just see. Gotta try and... Uh, let's see if this does it with the weight. It's still underpowered, but this is the max it can be. I just We've got to find a tractor that does this well. can't haul logs if we can't haul logs. Yeah, it's another, see this one here looks like, yeah, there's quite a few bits and bobs. We could make a few fields already by just moving the odd um, tree. Some that are really quite, yeah, the map maker has really sort of made it not very difficult for you to actually, now that I see how this fares. No. 
though. That's probably worse. So that's definitely horses are making a difference, but I wonder if it is the dolly. It's weird, I've never seen yeah. I get it. I've pulled this with more I don't know with more weight though. I've had gangly trees. Could be a weight, I suppose. We could I suppose we can try it over the next few log piles we take. I mean it's not a weak tractor, certainly not. we've upgraded the Massey. It is better, definitely so. Oh, no, no. Oh, really? Is that all for that? Wow, that is very poor. It's not much better pulling it empty. It does make me wonder if it's the dolly. And yet I've had no difficulty with this one before. Literally bought this a couple of times and never had any issues. But And with this very trailer, so I don't understand it. It does seem to be the dolly though. may have to go for the proper proper dolly rather than the, well it's, it's just yeah big base game dolly let's put it that way this is a proper dolly but can't have this not working let's go to the easy shed this is definitely the end of the session though I'm quite disappointed in that at wood prices Let's just check wood prices before we go to see if there is a better time to sell. Oh, yeah, this is careering all over the place. That's empty. Right, so well, that does look like stone as well. That is nice, the gravel. I do like that. Right, prices, wood. Yeah, much of a muchness. There's not much in it, so no. Wow. I'm shocked at that. That was a massive load. Really heavy. I've done much better than that on other... Ooh, that is a bit uneven. It's, oh, it's passable, I suppose. Right, I'm going to leave it there. We've at least made a start. We have... It's just going to have a look at the, what we have cleared. Let's, yeah, be thorough. Because it was... But you can see there's quite a few trees where we can clear this and we can make quite a few fields here in this area. It's not a small area. But yeah, we've got this bit in the middle. We'll cut a field out in this area where we have widened out at the minute. Let's just let's switch flying on for a second. Then. I'm 
think it's better to literally view this from up high than it is. Yeah, you can see we've cleared quite an area. To be honest, look, that one there, that tree there is in the way still. And maybe that one there. We will have actually cleared out quite a good circle, I think. So two more trees. Maybe three. That one there looks a bit... Right, let's just switch that off. Right, yeah, so we've got a couple more trees, at least two or three more trees to cut in this. We're going to do our first field. We will be altering the fields because as we open this up more and more each year, we will extend the fields or make a second one. But this one's going to be awkward because this is in the middle. So this one's going to get in the way a bit. So this one's going to be the one that I think changes. Perhaps would have been better if we'd have done it from the side, but you've got to start somewhere. And this was the central point, so yeah, we shall make as big a one, and we shall see what we see. We shall start at night. No, remind myself, what have we got in our garage? Did we get any? No, it's mainly forestry. Then we've got the sprayer and the baler, and the uh, cultivator, the disc harrow, and of course, obviously the harvester as well. It's actually normal equipment. Yeah. So we short on a windrower. That reminds me, yeah, what have we got? Oh wow, the Lexian. Yeah. Right, so August oh, that's stay yeah, let's have a little planting window. Wheat and barley. Okay, let's let's go forwards one month. We will go nine. And we'll do our preparation for our field this session. Not not the next session. Right, now then. No, that's way too big for ours. I know that for a fact. Right, so we can have to... Now then, there is... A cedar that's just... No, cedar that's just dropped. I'd like to test something out. This one here, 4 meter. Is that just the cultivator section? Because this goes with the front box. I think it is... Yeah... I'm going to try something. And also... Yeah, I'm going to try... Now, I know it normally works with this one. But I'm trying to try... Yeah, that one. So I want to test this new one that's just dropped. Which, yeah, the transport box of old... Main colour... Oh yeah, I'll do Massey Ferguson regs. It was probably the Massey that's going to do it. We'll just go and get that. I want to just test this out. Oh, and we also need the multi-fruit by which I'm going to stick over by. Oh no, it's going to take me too long. Right, let's go and Let's move towards the... I said I was going to stick this near to the buildings, so this is more realistic that it's not on the actual farm. I usually make it easy on myself, but let's, let's try and make this, this um, simulate us going to get something from an area. I was having a contract, you should, I could say, with another company to pick things up, which is about right. What would really? I mean, if it was a container mod, I suppose it would. It's just as believable that you've actually got. Right. Right. Smashing. So that is the multi fruit done. Let's go grab the Massey. That's the fastest we've got. And let's get rid of everything off the back, including the weight. Let's go get those two items. Let's get the 
front loader drops off as well. Oh no, I might be able to carry something with that from the shop actually. Right, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to record this. This is where I draw the line at this type of thing. You'll see that I'll have grabbed the equipment across next time. Or I'll restart the camera. Yeah, that is a point. I will. I'm going to restart the camera. Re <laughs> start the recording the camera. I'm going to start the recording again while I do the test because I think that's important. So I shall see you shortly. Right, nearly back. I've got the... Uh, Navigator, the um, yeah, we'll repair that. Just do this final test, and then I'll be happy. So, should be yeah. There's our entrance we have created. It's a lot bad. It could have been worse. Right, let's repair the body. We're gonna need this. This is our only means of. Oh, okay. I'm not actually in the square. Close enough. This time I'm close enough now. Uh. Wow. Normally has a much better range than that. Don't get that. Okay. No, it's definitely the orange tabs are in the right place. Yeah, they are. You've got to go with those two front orange tabs. Oh, okay. Right, smashing. Let's have a go at this then. Let's drop the... Yeah, stick that in the shed. Let's make use of the shed. And not just have it as an ornament. It's a bit uneven, definitely. Okay. Let's drop that. Stick that back on the back. It should be. See if we can dodge it the right way round. I might need to. That's typical. No, it's not going to play ball, is it? Oh, now I'm stuck. Of course I am. <laughs> of course I'm stuck. It wouldn't go easy now, would it? It wouldn't be Harbin Simulator. Oh dear me. Right, let's grab the... Yeah, you're the closest. I don't know. Little things become mountains out of molehills. This is just the last little bit. I'd just like to run this test. See if this will actually work with the um, front box, the transport box, to see if it will actually do it. Also, to see if this transport box will fill. If it's not, I'm going to grab the Joskin that we know is just one is getting tight. And also, this is a new mod. I always like to try new mods to see whether they do or they don't work. It's, yeah, not about. I know the Joskin one, uh, but does work and it works fantastically. So. Let's see if we can nudge. Hmm. Okay, that was not terribly good. Hmm. Oh, I know we could try. Being silly. Could be the front box that's actually doing it. Yeah, because it's making it at a weird angle. Right, okay. Let's see if we can uh, use the winch to pull that the right way. It's going to be weird, this is gonna be tricky. Actually, this actually seeds. 
with that as storage or whether we do need the proper thing. Or it did it used to work with the Joskin. I've used the bigger one, the six meter version of this. Let's go and see if this actually feels from a trigger or whether it's like the old one and it only feels from pallets. In which case we'll grab the Joskin, even though it's going to be another 2.4 thousand. It's still worth it. This will still be useful for dragging other things and having additional storage, so it's not going to be a waste. I do like to, to test mods out. No, it's the same as the old one. It really doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so that's uh, really is. No, I think that's the. Yeah, it is. Okay. Can I not pick it up either? Oh, I don't think I was on it. Right, what we're going to do is next session then we'll grab the Juskin and buy it and I'll rush over and I'll grab it because we do need, we're going to be needing to do that soon, definitely. I'd really like to, I wanted to do it now but hey ho, sometimes, yeah, an end of a session has to come. Yeah, I think we've made good progress for one session, we've put the roots down, built the shed, put the tools, the basic tools cleared an area, made, yeah, I'm quite pleased, it's not, so this will be useful for dragging things around, like uh, transporting things, right, so then, we will buy the Joskin though, now, because I would like, even that might not work, but it has done before with the bigger one, so, yeah, we'll buy that. Gonna change the colour for once. So I know it does cost, but ah no, it, it, yeah, I remember now. It's just the yellow and the green. It's not, yeah, right. Let's buy that. So we'll go pick that up next time, and that is where I'm gonna leave it. I think we've done quite well. We've cleared quite an area. We'll get that cultivated and plant. I think some wheat. So we'll yeah, we will, because we've got a baler. We can make some straw and we can sell these straw as well. It doesn't begin a lot, but it's at the beginning every bit counts. So, right. Anyway, I hope you're going to continue with me on this. Again, this is may or may not turn into a full Let's Play, but it's just literally me trying to show the map off to it, the Pioneer map to some... Yeah, to sort of show it off a little bit. Oh, in my life, I've got some tree, lead, tree things leading into that. That's a bit messy. That's typical. But yeah, just just like to show the Pioneer map. It's a new map. And yeah, just to give it some um, attention and show people the beauty of the map and everything. It's um, good and... What they, yeah, be balanced. Yeah, I'm not going to say good and bad points. But yeah, it's just show it in balance in... Yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say because I'm trying to to look for things, but just to point things out. And also, sometimes it can be useful. Triggers don't always work properly. Sometimes the map makers can see things, or things can be brought to that brought to their attention that things aren't quite right. So yeah, if we can help in any way, shape, or form, then I'd like that. You know, for us to be instrumental to show other players as well. So, anyway, no more waffling. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to continue with me on this journey, no matter how long it is. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>